Whatever you take. Give it up for fucking Nuri Cherry. She's worked her fucking ass off. Give it up. And she's about to give you shows tonight. No, you're walking down the street after getting your um, Philly cheese steak at 5 o'clock in the morning. And the straightest looking dude will walk by you and be like, pss, pss, pss. you know, and you're like, what? What's going on? Are you going to, like, rob me? What's going on? You're going to beat me up? And no, they just want a little piece of the sugar, you know? And depending on how I'm feeling, I'll, I'll give it to them, you know? But, because there's nothing hotter to me than a closeted straight man. Um, I don't know. And if, if they're married, <laughs> let's talk, okay? No, I'm just... I'm actually not joking. I know it's horrible. I'm a horrible person. But yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> because if I see a wedding ring, whoo! Girl. And then, it, oh, I remember this one guy. Oh, <laughs> he like had a baby seat in the back. Oh, that was just like, I couldn't wait until we got um, to the hotel actually. So, <laughs> God. So that's my <laughs> outrageous story. <laughs> Get those goodies, girl. Get those goodies. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. My first memory of drag is going to my uncle's house when I was maybe 10 years old. And he had a Christmas card that a friend of his sent him. And um, my uncle was actually in the photo. It was a photograph card. And my uncle was in the photo and he was dressed in drag. And I thought it was so interesting that my uncle was dressed like that. And I remember going up to my grandmother who was also at the house and be like, Granny, what's that? Why is Uncle Don dressed like that? And she completely doing what my grandmother does, uh, ignored the question. But that stayed fresh in my mind. And then when, I forget exactly when I learned what drag was, but that all made sense. My uncle is gay. And I remember he won an award for gay men's choir or something. The award was on this wall. And I remember reading it and I knew every single word that was on the plaque except for gay. And I asked my cousin what that word meant. And he told me that it meant that it was like for um, men who liked other men. And I remember a light going off in my head. I was like, oh, now I know who I am. And I remember the next day I had to go to school and everything, it was almost like something had been lifted off me. Like I had been going through life with uh, these glasses that weren't cleaned properly. And everything just seemed more clean, more bright. And I know that's like a corny thing to say, but it, I had definitely, I felt like I had been enlightened. You know, I finally saw who I really was. I used to have a lot of body image issues. Um, I would never take my shirt off um, when getting in the pool. Um, I would definitely never get naked in front of anyone. And if I was having sex with them, I'd normally do it in the dark. But now you can ask most people in nightlife um, and they'll tell you that they've, they've seen Mary Cherry naked. And that's because while doing drag, since doing drag in New York, I've just have become more comfortable with myself. And uh, I've seen the beauty that is me, you know? And I hope that everyone could feel that one day because where I was once was with how I looked at myself was not a good place, you know? I definitely was disgusted with myself, but now I'm at a point where I will get naked on stage and just stand there and have people take pictures of me. And I love it. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and just see, this is me and I'm gorgeous. I don't know if I'm, I'll do drag for the rest of my life. I do know that whatever I do do, drag will make that happen. So it's that, I mean, that's all I can really say. I have no idea what will happen in the future, but whatever will happen, it's going to be, because of drag.